Hello fellow Vikings. Welcome back to Viking Rise Chronicles, your go-to destination for mastering the epic world of Viking Rise. Today, we're immersing ourselves in the heart of the action as we explore the law of the jungle of it. Get ready for a journey filled with strategic conquests, cunning tips, and game-changing tricks that will set you apart as the true Viking champion. The most important tip before the most recent mounts release, in my opinion, is you should try to get to the middle as quickly as possible as soon as the event starts. The monsters in the middle provide a lot more points than the monsters outside of the middle area. Some monsters are worth up to 60 points and will drop the best runes and special abilities, only picking up necessary and beneficial buffs along the way. The goal in Law of the Jungle is to be as efficient as possible in your 10 minutes. Noting down where opponents spawn is also important, as there will most likely be someone stronger than you whom you will want to avoid. Since the mounts update, it is now easier than ever to be a free-to-play player and compete with the big boys. Mounts release at the 8-minute mark, and you should prioritize finding troop corresponding buffs as quickly as possible. This can add almost 80% in buffs if you can find two legendary mounts for both of your heroes. Keep in mind, mounts release on the 8-minute mark and refresh every minute. The Chief Newflings release on the 5-minute 10-second mark, and again at the 2-minute mark. As you'll see in this video, it's also important to remember the details about your three opponents, including how strong each of them are compared to you. This may sound bad but pummel the little guy and whoever is in first place. Constantly targeting the smallest opponent will lead to 100 points every time you defeat them, which in some cases seen here can be five to six times in a row. Regarding targeting whoever is in first place, defeating the first place player will result in additional points given to you. Usually, it's 200 points instead of 100 when defeating the first place person, but in endgame, I've seen as high as 500 points be given to whoever defeats the first place player. In summary, just remember, the goal is to be efficient. If you can snipe one or both of the chiefs after an opponent has done most of the damage, third party a duel, and greatly increase your stats with the use of mounts, you should see a real change to your Law of the Jungle rankings. These strategies can also now be utilized on your farm accounts if you are looking for extra gathering shards. Make sure you prioritize mounts to give your low-level farm account fighting heroes a chance to compete against other opponents' main accounts. I hope you enjoyed some of the strategies touched on today. Enjoy the remainder of the video where you can see these strategies used in game, and please consider leaving a like and a huge subscribe.